Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So in this video, I'm pretty much going to just talk about why I like trappers so much. Not This is not referring to IRL, this is referring to in-game. Um, but it's the mechanic of trapping in PoE that I really have grown fond of. So I'm kind of going to go over a, a short summary of like what advantages you get by playing certain types of characters, I guess. But I'm, specifically, it's going to be talking about traps. So I haven't, I didn't write any of this stuff down, so some stuff will be left out and whatnot. But here we go. So you've got self-cast, all right? The category is going to be like self-cast, totems, traps, summoner, and I think that's it unless something else springs up to my head. Self-casting. The benefit of self-casting is you usually don't animation lock yourself in place as much as totems because I believe totems take longer to summon than it does to self-cast. However, you are prone to reflect damage um, but you get to pretty much choose what you want to attack, whereas the totem will just spray. So that's self-casting. And then, of course, you can use leech and stuff, but you have to counteract your own reflect. And then there's corrupted blood as well. Totems. Totems are cool because you can scout out a room. They typically, unless you have, like, totemic zeal uh, over here, they have, like, point, I guess, two something of a cast, which I guess is still pretty good, but for me it's still kind of annoying. Uh, so they cast at a decent rate. But you gotta summon two, which kind of takes time because you gotta get both of them every single time you engage a pack. You know, one, two, one, two, one, two. So they're a little annoying to use, um, but they're really good. You know, the benefits are you never really have to be in threat because you can always be like a room behind scouting and throwing them. And totems will take aggro for you, and you know the mobs will be directed towards the totems first. Uh, con is definitely you cannot run chain maps, and sometimes there's a lot of shit on the screen and players get distracted so like you have yourself and then two totems and then cursing and then mobs and sometimes it's too much for people to realize like there's a mob here etc and when you're playing by yourself without totems the mobs are, are solely focused on attacking you they're not trying to hit a totem so as sometimes a mob with like leap slam for example would jump to a totem and then jump to you um you wouldn't expect them all the time to jump to you whereas if you're playing solo there's only one target to hit you know uh, and then the last one I'll go into is Summoner, and then I'll go into Trap. So Summoners, um, the big problem with Summoners is, I'll say, kind of like clear speed, only for solo, because you're reliant on your minions doing everything for you. You know, if your minions want to be stupid, they're going to be stupid. There's only so much you can do to make your minions not stupid, uh, since you're at the wrath of the game. However, Summoners, you pretty much don't have to do anything. There's two ways you can play a Summoner. You can get kind of lost with all the minions and you don't understand what's going on. Or you can be very, 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very aware of what's going on because you don't have to do anything. All you really have to do on a summoner is curse and position yourself. That's it. I mean, you have to monitor your, your summons and whatnot. Uh, but at the same time, you don't ever have to spam anything. You're just cursing. That's it. That's literally all you're doing with your summons. And then you have traps. So with traps, it's kind of a mixture in between of everything. So, you don't have any defensive setup because everything is attacking you, but at the same time, you don't have to spam. That's why I like trappers. With everything you do, you have to spam, except for a summoner as well. So, like, self-cast, you're gonna, you're gonna boom, 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 boom. Unless, you know, there are certain things that you just cast once, uh, but for the most part, you're, you're stacking cast speed and you're spamming. Like, you know, echo arc, echo this, echo that, etc. Um, totems, you have to cast one totem, two totem, and then the totem has to kill the mobs. With traps, you throw a trap, at least with the builds I do, and it will kill the entire screen. Uh, or maybe, say you need to use, say, I don't know, just in the future, say Prolif is destroyed completely. I throw three traps, now I'm an, I'm an, excuse me, I'm an elemental character. I've got freezing, I've got, you know, I've got all the elements going on with one character, which you can, you can very well do on a trapper. And it's just, uh, you're so mobile on that build. Even if you're not tanky, you have the, you have the, um, the elements of, I never have to fucking ever stand still, ever. You don't, literally. Like, you have three charges, which, people don't realize how big those three charges are. The three charges is the difference between someone throwing, like, this might sound so stupid, but it, it makes a huge difference. So, say you have a pack of mobs here, and a pack of mobs here, right? And, uh, you go to throw a trap. Your goal would be to throw the trap in the middle of both of the mobs rather than on the left side because then you're going to have to throw another trap on the right side. It's all like the simple little things that might not seem like they make a difference. They do make a difference when you play a trapper because what is like the biggest complaint people have? 
Pox, is there any way I can like reduce the cooldown of the traps I have? Because unless you're going at like insane movements, like you have like a double adrenaline quicksilver, you're lightning warping through everything, etc., you're not gonna run out of traps. You should not run out of traps, with very few exceptions. Um, so let's let's like show an example really fast. I'll just go to docs of the mobility. And you know I've said this before in a lot of stuff, but uh, it just makes me really happy. Oh, another thing I forgot to say is when you play a trapper, you don't really need to run any auras. The only like the only mandatory aura I'd say you need to run is clarity which you still technically don't need to run, and then I guess Herald of Lightning, depending later on on what you're doing. So let's let's go into it really fast and show an example. One, double curse, open the strong box, and they're all dead from a prolif. So here I threw it right over here. I didn't throw it down here. I threw it up here because I saw the pack coming. It's just, it's just little, little things that will add up. You throw them in the middle, it explodes. Somehow I didn't get a prolif there, map pack. And this, this really suits my playstyle of being really reckless in a way, kind of, kind of, sort of being reckless. Oh, lag spike. That was a little scary there. Kids, don't, don't YOLO. It's bad for you. But at the same time, I do have, like, Searing Bond, for example, which still does decent damage. Um, so, on a scenario where I would run out of traps, I've got a Searing Bond. It's not, it doesn't even have anything in it. Which, I guess, realistically, I should... I mean, I guess it's level 21, it's got something in it, technically. But, uh, it's just a different playstyle, and it's a playstyle that I, I really like. I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it feels comfortable to me. You know, you know, like, everything, everyone likes certain things about the game, it's just... To me, I just really like traps. And after playing my Shockwave Totem character, I realized how much I like trappers. It's just, they're just they're, they can do everything. They can they can shock stack, they can freeze, they can they can prolif, they can do all of it in the same build. You just modify a couple points. Like if I wanted to do more cold damage, I go cold damage because when you pick up spell damage and trap damage, trap damage is a, is essentially all damage. It doesn't matter. You're not specializing in an element, so it's just it's really 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 cool the way the way they end up going. Like this character, even though I'm all fire damage, if I put a five link or four even four link cold snap on. I could still freeze the entire screen for like, not the entire screen, I wouldn't have AoE, but I could free, I could permafreeze with Prolif, no problem, on my character. And I showed that before on my other character. Also, um, I guess being a trapper, you don't have the option, there are downsides, like you don't have leech on your character, so you're more reliant on pots. But if you guys know me, I always play based off my HP pots, that's why I love, I love it. It's just, uh, it's really a thrill. And, um... I don't know, they just, they have a lot of benefits, like I said, and they have a lot of downsides, but to me, the, the pros definitely outweigh the cons, and there's, uh, truly, I, there's not a lot of people that play trappers, like, I guess people see them at the beginning of the league, or they use fire trap to level, but I really don't see that many people playing them endgame, I, I swear to you, I don't see that many people, you know, when I was partying with Eats Up and his group, I didn't see one person ever use fire trap in there, it's usually flame blast, and it kind of, it kind of has like this little onward rival, Rivalry, like I don't doubt that Flame Blast is better when when you're comparing six links and whatnot, but I still say Fire Trap is very very strong. Like if I was using optimal gear, like say just a Searing Touch, right? Just a Searing Touch, and it was six link and I had an Empower, I would have like a level 23, 24 Fire Trap, and a 23 to 24 Fire Trap is enough to easily one shot. Probably, let's see trying to think. Yeah, I could one-shot palace mobs with six player HP with my double curse and a 20 whatever I said fire trap. No problem. It would easily work. And I've got an open chest link. I've got vol gems I can run on my character. They're just really 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 cool. I really like them. I don't know. They're just they're just my buddies, you know. I played them a while ago. I got bored of them. And then I was playing some other builds and it's just I always end up going back to a trapper. I don't know what it is. They're just they're just awesome. So I'm going to run a quick map just because I missed this character as my little standard character that got uh, rest in pepperoni when I uh, when I uh, got hit by the invisible tornado and went. So definitely though, on this character, I wish I dropped dual curse and went into like at phase acro. Actually, I could do it right now, but I don't feel like it. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I would need seven right there for FaZe Acro on this character. And he would have been so much more tanky just with that. I guess I could temporarily drop you. Seven. Do I have the points? I'll do it right now. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Let's check. What do I have on this? This is standard, right? I don't think I have any regret orbs on standard. Pretty sure I don't have... I have a six link, but that's cheating. We're not going to use six links. No, fuck it. It's all good. Regret orbs are cheating, kids. Remember that? Let me just go do a quick map. Dark Forest. Or how about... Let's go do Jungle Valley. I think I did Jungle Valley and Hardcore in this character. And I think the other cool thing is, like, as I play the as I play Trappers more and more and more, I realize, like, I don't know, their, their potential just keeps on growing and growing and growing. They're so fun. Let's just rush. Let me just rush uh, Weaver right away. I guess the other thing is, this character could realistically as well use a Combs. I guess while we're doing this, I could talk about what I wanted to do for Act 4. Act 4, I'm thinking of either either running a Summoner or a Trapper. I really want to play a Trapper, but I want to play a Summoner. Not because of the, uh, not because of the Chaos Golem. I mean, that's kind of part of it, but not 100%. I want to do it because of the new mobs that are going to come out. Okay, this is going to be some crazy spike damage, so I just got to get ready here. So like I said, crazy spike damage. I could not get a prolif off my first setup, which kind of sucked. Okay, where is Weaver? There he is. That sucked. I could have I could have killed her before she went up, but I couldn't properly prolif as well. Now this is, the reason why I'm taking so much here is I've got literally zero armor and uh, I have like no chaos res. So, and she does, before anyone starts talking shit, she does do chaos damage because I confirmed that on my, uh, whatchamacallit. Unless things have been changed again, but I confirmed that on my summoner that has like 60% or like 65% positive chaos res. Let's see, what else is new? I guess. Talking to you guys again. Um, yeah, there's still there's still so much to learn about Path of Exile too. Like, uh, a lot of people think... Oh my god, Mr. Roas, please. A lot of people, I guess, don't realize uh, how much there is to learn about PoE because people just see... People just see kind of like what's, what's on the surface, like... If a streamer streams something, everyone immediately is like, Oh my god, you know, that skill is so OP. But what's really OP is the people that don't showcase what they have, you know? The people that, that like, find the... Not the bugs necessarily abuse them, but find the things that Sinner does really well or sometimes too well and don't show it. Those are the guys you gotta look out for, not the streamers. You know, I... That's not good. You know, I think I dropped to like 1 HP there. I didn't die. Or did I die? I'm pretty sure I didn't die. I didn't die. Um, I dropped really, really, really low. And that's, kids, that's what happens when you press R and think you have Lightning Warp and realize that R is actually Searing Blonde and not Lightning Warp. Um, that's called being stupid. Kids, don't do drugs. It's bad for you. I literally, like, what did my HP drop to? If anyone, If anyone can pause that. And figure out because this is on a live recording so i can't pause the recording and go back sad face but it dropped really 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 low i know that <laughs> yeah i was also testing out fireball trap i never got to level it up too much but fireball looks like it could be it could be pretty cool especially because quality is ignite chance ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, bum 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 
All right, then that's pretty much it. I just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of thoughts. Apologize, this is kind of like a half bullshit video, kind of just talking about nothing. But you know, I wanted I wanted to release something, kind of, and uh, still trying to figure out. Still don't really know. I'm not. It's really weird. I'm not bored of Poe. Like I thought I would be. Like I'm actually not. Like when I was playing my Shockwave Totem character, I fucking hated myself. But literally, I made a character in Hardcore again, and it's a Trapper, of course. And I just it felt like home to me. I don't know what it was. Like once I went. For the first time, normally I don't care that I'm not playing on Hardcore, but this time, I don't know what it was. I like When I wasn't playing Hardcore, I just had no incentive to play, but I did knock out my, my 4 of 4 there. Um, for anyone who wants to see it, one, two, three. yeah, I can show you guys if you want to see it. I don't. I just need the last one here for the Hardcore. Sorry, I got, the, got it on Normal, not Hardcore. It's 1, 2, 3, and 4. Actually, it looks pretty. It looks pretty cool. I think. I think this stuff, like the back part's kind of a little too much. Um, I just. I just got to do two more masters, so it's not hard at all. Play for like a couple hours, and I'll get that done. But um, it doesn't look too bad, actually. I think that just. I think this little little funky shit is a little too much. The back part's pretty cool, but these little side side fuck fucks are a little too much. But anyway, as always, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I hope to see you guys on the podcast tomorrow. I'm uh, pretty sure we're doing it tomorrow, even though it's Easter, because uh, Zeno's a little... Uh... Then again, I forgot too, so I can't really say anything. But, uh, you know, as, as always, I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. I really have to go to the restroom for some reason, so I will catch you guys later. So take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you guys all tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody. You know, I almost... What do I do? I always go to, like, mute my microphone to think I'm done with the video, and I keep forgetting I'm supposed to hit stop recording.